Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me trying out the new Boss Beauty Supplies 4 in 1 gel, also known as their Gem Rhinestone gel and or jelly gel. And I was going to be using these, but then I thought it looked perfect without them. So you can just have another look at that one. I'm going to be using this beautiful blue glitter that I got off Amazon. Glitter Bells Rainy Cloud, Glitter Bells White Gloss, Glitter Bells Rubber Top Coat. And I've already put a base down, I've tipped the nails, and I've put all my nice acrylic freshly down. And I'm going to be starting off with my design. Just a tip I didn't do it. Do the gel design before you start sugaring. I don't know why, but I decided to do it the other way around. It was really hard to get my gel design round the glitter that I already placed down. So, good idea that I did not think about. So I'm going to be using this Jelly Rhinestone gel on my fourth finger. And that will be a full cover one. So as you can see, I'm going in with it. You want it to be a nice, even coat, making sure you get everywhere as it will be full of glitter and you don't want no patches. So as you can see, just making sure it's nice and smooth, not too thick, but still full coverage. mind the fact that my other finger gets in the way can't have it all can we so I'm going in with this beautiful blue glitter and I'm going to be sugaring it onto the nail bit of protection, bit of kitchen roll as it is a messy thing to do and I'm just going to sprinkle it over all parts of the nail and I just can't get over how beautiful this glitter is it is stunning anyway just checking with you how you all doing what's going on in your life right now seems like coronavirus does not want to go away but I hope you are all doing well and you're all safe and healthy so yeah pop down in the comments let me know if you're okay let me know if you want to see anything specifically I know if there's other things you want me to try out as I'll do my best to try that out and if you're missing any pieces on your nail while sugaring make sure to go in and fill that out and then that will go in the lamp for 60 seconds to make sure it's fully cured and then you brush off the glitter and look how well that has sugared it is literally perfect literally so full coverage and it took me ages to get it off when I decided to do another set on my hands it's just so strong and it keeps the glitter stuck in and it does very well for gems as well but I absolutely love this so what I'm going to do I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video as it's self explanatory so yeah hope you like it and I'll talk to you later
quick clean off my brush because now I'm going to go in with the gels. As you can see, it looks pretty without them, but I just wanted to add that in. But obviously, as I said earlier, best to draw the gel lines before you go in with the glitter. But for some reason, I just don't think sometimes. But you know, we're all human and we all make mistakes. It just depends on how you, you correct them. So I'm going in with the blues on the outside and the white on the inside. And I'll do two coats of each and put them in the lamp for 60 seconds each time. It's always a rare occasion where I actually do my thumb. So now I'm going in with the rubber top gel and I'm only going in around the glitter. Don't want to get it on the glitter. So I'll go around just to make sure that the gel is covered. And I'll do this on all the nails except for the fourth nail as that's gonna stay sugared. But I think in the end I should end up going over. 
the sugar in on the other thing there. On the other ones. As I'd, I'm quite a smooth nail person. Don't really like bumps, but yeah, apparently I end up going over them. But if you like the feel of the bumps, you can not top coat it. Or just obviously do the gel design first and then top coat and then do the sugary, which would have been my better option. But you know, hey ho. I hope you have liked this video. Please like and subscribe. And leave a comment if you'd like to. So yeah, I will see you in my next video.